Hey guys, so today we're talking about our Ram 3500 truck and this is the Laramie edition with an 8 foot bed. So a lot of people have been asking us about the truck since we use it to haul our truck camper. So we have a upcoming video of that as well. You can check out on our channel, but today this video is just about the truck. So going up front first, we have the OEM LED headlights. And then this one comes with chrome tow hooks and then LED fog lights as well. And this also is the chrome edition, so it has chrome all over the front. And then as we move around to the side, it has towing mirrors, which is also chrome. And then for the door handle, this is a nice feature if you're always carrying a lot of stuff. To lock the truck, all you have to do is hit this button if you have the key fob on you. And then to unlock the truck, you just have to take your hand and put it right here and it unlocks the truck. So then when you're ready to get in the truck, we are super excited that we actually have this accessory. We have power running boards. So when we're on the road, we've always been worried about clearance since we're going off the beaten path like where we're at today and non-powered running boards have the potential to hit or catch on something and so by having powered running boards they'll collapse right up after a few seconds and that way you can still have a lot of clearance so the next back here we've got the diesel tank so there's def right here and the diesel tank here And then as we move around to the back, it does have LED tail lights and spray and bed liner. And this one we had, um, it came prepped for the fifth wheel prep group. So if we do ever get a fifth wheel someday or something like that, we can use that as well. And on the side of the bed, it does have bed lights. So if you're out there at night and you want to use those at all, you can run those. And there's also power right here to hook up which is also the same as right here. And then this is the hitch. And this is a dually, since I forgot to mention that at the beginning, but I'm sure you could tell from the video. And that's all that's left for the outside of the truck. So we'll take you inside next. So next we're gonna be going to the inside of the truck and there are a lot of features to talk about since this is the Laramie edition. So it's almost fully loaded, it's just one step below the limited. So the first thing we're going to talk about is over here on the door. You do have memory seats up here, these buttons. And then you can hit a button right here and this will fold the mirrors in. And fold them back out. And you can also do your mirror adjustments up here as well. These are the controls down here for your lights. So all you have to do is twist this knob and then this is your interior lighting. So this is for the dash. So if you want to turn like the speedometer or the RPM lighting up and down or your screen. And then this is floor lighting. So if you want lights up down by your feet, you can use that as well. And then this does have the premium sound system. So it's the Harman Kardon 17 speaker system in here. And on, on this side of the steering wheel, you've got your Bluetooth connections. This is for all of your settings here. And then you can adjust your gears right here if you're going down a hill, so if you need to downshift. And then cruise control is right here. Push button start is right there. So since this is a diesel, it may have to do a short diesel preheat, which could take between 10 and 40 seconds if it's super, super cold out. Then we have two wheel drive, four wheel drive low, four wheel drive high and neutral. And then we've got all the controls right here. So you've got your emergency flashers, your hazard lights, your traction control. This is to turn your screen off if you don't want it on when you're driving. And then we have heated seats and cooled seats in here, as well as a heated steering wheel. So this is for the driver's side and then this is for the passenger side. And then you have all of your controls for your thermostats there. And then down here you have your auxiliary controls, your tow haul mode, your jake brake, 
And then you have parking sensors on the front and the rear, so that'll just beep at you if you're getting close to something. And then down here we have ports for charging. So there are Type-C and USB ports as well as an aux port. And there's additional storage in here as well, so that's pretty deep if you want to put something in there. And then this one does come with a wireless charging pad, so only half of this is for charging, but you can put your phone in right here and it'll charge it wirelessly. And you can put another phone right there as well to charge. And then it does have a outlet down here for charging, and there's one in the back seat, which we will show you in a bit as well. So this slides up, we've got all of our stuff in here for traveling on the road, but two cup holders. And then there's a whole bunch of stuff in here, but it's got a ton of storage. And we've got gloves for all the dirty diesel tanks at gas stations. And then going up here, you do have your rear sliding window that is powered. So all you have to do is hold this to open it and hold this to close it. And then you've got your lighting in here for if you want any extra lights on um, or if you want your tailgate to go down. This is a power tailgate as well, but we don't have our tailgate on since we have the truck camper. So to start the truck, all you have to do is put your foot on the brake and hit the push button. And since it's warm enough, the diesel did not need to be preheated today. So we have it set to our tire pressure monitor for our truck camper. So over here you can see the def gauge, which is really nice because a lot of vehicles don't have a gauge. When you just run out, you run out. <laughs> And then here you've got the RPMs, the speedometer, the fuel gauge is down there. And then it'll tell you what your range is until you run out of diesel. And then anytime this thing is facing the sun, it always shows that it's a warmer temperature than it is. So sometimes it will trigger the cooled seats, which would be right here. And then by using this, you can scroll through the menu And you can look at a lot of information on the truck. So it's got everything from your boost pressure to your oil life, fuel filter, battery voltage, exhaust brake. That's everything all summed up in one. Idle and drive time. And then we just like to leave it on that. And then over here for the entertainment, You've got your radio here, so you can do Sirius XM. Ours came with a one year trial, or you can do FM or AM radio. You know, save all of your presets up there. Climate controls are here, so you can either use a touch screen to adjust the controls, or you can use these buttons down in here. And these are extra features as well, so if you want to control your heated seat, your mirror dimmer, anything like that, you can control all of that in here. You have the Uconnect apps. Navigation, so this came with navigation since it is the Laramie edition. Then you can sync your phone as well for Bluetooth here and have your contacts. And then your settings over here, you can go through everything in the menu to change any settings that you may need. And then to shut the truck off, all you need to do is just hit the button again. So I'll do one more quick wide view in here. So this does come with leather seating with lumbar support down here. And then it does have rubber floor mats as well. So here's one more view for you. We'll go to the back seat next. So back here, you've got speakers over here, as well as speakers on the top. And in the back over here, this is for the Bluetooth. And then these seats can flip up and you have additional storage below. Cup holders are down there, as well as up in here. And then we'll jump on in. So this has a lot of leg room in here. So this seat is fully back and I am six foot one and my knees have plenty of room before they touch. So this is closing the door and you can see how much space. 
And then in the Laramies, it does come with heated seats if you get the level two equipment. So the back seats are heated and then you have more charging ports here. And then these are just your air controls for the vents and then additional storage. So there's a few more things to show on the passenger side. So as we climb in here, you can see there are spots for water bottles as well as additional storage down here and as well as in here. And then this is storage as well. So this came with our manuals and then this pops up just by hitting a button. So we store a few miscellaneous things in here as well. And then there's also plenty of room over here. So the seat isn't all the way back since there is a little shorter than I am, but it still has plenty of leg room in here. So that's everything for the Ram 3500 diesel long box. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And we look forward to sharing more with you soon.